Hi guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. I'm saying. And today we are bringing you a haul of everything we bought at the Integrity Toys Convention 2018. Uh, Lux Life was the theme, the name of the event. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, we did also film um, a video featuring um, just kind of a rundown of our experience and some vlog footage, so I will link that in the description. We're gonna go ahead and just run through all the stuff, all the stuff we bought. Um, I'm assuming most of you are already familiar with what Integrity Toys is, all that jazz. I will include some links in the description of some of our previous videos and the official website if you'd like to check them out. But in this one, I'm just gonna dive right into the, the haul, the goods, so. All right, so the very first one is, the Love of Lux Veronique Heron. Which was the welcome doll. So she was the one that you get when you walk in the door. And let's see. I love the packaging. I love how white and like glossy it is. That's kind of like a faux leather look. And we have a nice little sleeve for you. And of course, here's the doll. She is in all her glory. Um, I actually was not a huge fan of her at first. Um, my knee-jerk reaction was that I thought she was a little plain. Her outfit didn't totally do it for me, but I have kind of come around to like her quite a bit. Uh, her face-up is stunning. We don't get, you know, really fun, you know, pastel color pop very much. On you know what, some people don't like color. Some people like kind of like a monotone, like more like nude look. But yeah, the color's really nice and Pretty cute. Lots out of box. Yes. And everyone who got the welcome package got her. Mm -hmm. So something else that came in the welcome package was a cute little chair. Um, it is a plastic chair. Um, it comes in this little Lux Life box. It's really nice. There's some like, you know, indentations on the box itself. And um, yeah, it's just a simple little, you know, uh, faux luxury chair. Um, it's a little bit cheap looking, but it's also very cute. And it sits your integrity dolls very nicely. Mm -hmm. um, so another doll that you got when you got there is, oh god, these names. Okay. A Fabulous Life, Reina Amadi. Um, and this was one that if you wanted to pick her up at the con, you had to like, pay for her. So she dance. is a convention doll, but you don't have to attend the convention to pre-order her. It was available for anyone. Yeah. But at, at the convention, you can pick her up if you're going, as well as you get a discount if you are a convention goer. Yeah, and she's considered part of the Lux Life collection. She has like a Lux Life packaging and everything. And I believe the outfit she is wearing is a replica of an existing, like, high-end fashion design. Most design. of them are. Color, yeah. Most of them are inspired by something. Yeah. The cool thing about her was, for the pre-order, they did not have her prototype for you to look at, but they did have a sketch or a drawing of her. Mm -hmm. So you can pre-order based on that. Mm -hmm. So we were just going blind off the sketch mm -hmm. for a little bit. Um, this is another one, I my initial reaction of her was like, yeah, she's cool, but I don't know how I feel about like the short hair and like the mostly black outfit, but um, she's very Vogue, she's very elegant, and Reyna has a gorgeous face. And I think the like the vampy red lips and you know, black hair with mm -hmm. Reyna. Some it. people say she looks like a vampire, very pale skin and the ruby lips. Yeah. Super cute. I think I still prefer eye candy Reyna overall, but this one's very, very nice. So next up, uh, it's gonna be um, the main collection. So the convention collection, which were five initial dolls, um, and then three surprise dolls that they had at the souvenir, souvenir shop. Um, we collectively only got like four. We didn't get the whole collection. We passed on a lot of them, actually. Yeah, yeah. We, did. we had to restrain ourselves to some extent. Mm -hmm. We got Optic Illusion, Giselle. Giselle Dieffendorf. <laughs> and she seems to be the most popular doll at the convention. Um, she, uh, some people are saying it's a dupe for a previous release. Um, it was Agnes. Agnes. Yeah. It was a, uh, I forget what she was called. If we remember, we'll put it here somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but she is the first doll that's completely sell out. 
So that was kind of, she was super, super, super popular. Yeah. All right, so here she is in all her glory. Um, she's very brightly colored. A lot of yellow. I do like her beret that you can't see here, but she's become a little beret. Yeah, I didn't, definitely didn't fall as in love with her as a lot of other congoers seems to, but... I think she has a lovely face and her hair is really pretty. But mm -hmm. I'm not a huge thing on like the, the outfit she's wearing, but yeah, I can of... see why people like her. Yeah, she's cool. She's unique. She's definitely unique. And then the next one is Gold Snap, Poppy Parker. I love her so She's super pretty. She's the one I fell in love with, like, right away. <clears throat> she is so pretty. <laughs> I mean, we're a huge fan of poppies, but yeah, I biased. think in general, I love her whole, like, classy outfit. Yeah, I really like, too, there's a very, like, autumn-y, like, golden bronzy thing she has going on with her face up and her hair in this release. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like this was one of the most on-theme dolls mm -hmm. with Lux Life. It was very, like, golden, luxurious, you know, you got, you know, vibes of elegance and classiness with her, for yeah. sure. Uh, if you guys want any of these, like an um, unboxing of any of these dolls, please like and subscribe, mm -hmm. as well as let us know in the comments which one you want us to unbox. Mm -hmm. We're more than happy to. So those were the three that we got from the main line. There were three that they announced there, and then of those ones we got... Prosperous Complexity Kyorisato mm -hmm. was the first one. I thought she was very, uh, very elegant. Mm -hmm. and, um, I flip-flopped on her too. I like almost didn't get her, but... I think I like the, the black lacing on her. That's what made me decide. Yeah. And she has bows. She has really cool bows on her. Alright, so this is what she looks like. And I think she's super gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Love the black lace on kind of that um, almost like nude uh, dress. Yeah, I think her her bows, the big black bows, like on her shoulders, are super fun. Um, yeah, she's really nice, and classy. All right, this is Chiller Thriller, Poppy Parker, Poppy Parker. Mm -hmm. um, she's super cute. Um, Love her so much. She, yeah, she's a really highlight of this um, convention. Yeah, I I had a minute where I was like thinking she might have been my favorite of like the main collection for sure. Um, Gold Snap Poppy in person, just giving giving her some competition. But um, I love the powdery like robin's egg blue color scheme. Um, I really like that she's like a wintry doll, which is perfect because we're heading into winter. So I think she'll make for some very lovely photos. She's so like sparkly. So gorgeous. So, um, while we were in the souvenir shop, I did also, which is where they were selling the main collection, um, I did also pick up a very cute, like, blue and lavender haired um, Misaki doll because there was a booth, um, an Azone booth, which is the uh, Japanese retailer. Yeah, so they're like a retailer distributor um, of a lot of toys and high-end fashion dolls um, and the best known, um, I believe, Japanese mold for Integrity Toys is Misaki. So yeah, I got a super cute Misaki with um, blue and lavender hair. She was $100, nude. <laughs> I mean, she's not completely but, nude. She has, like, yeah, she has like a swimsuit on. Yeah. Um, and I did also get a really cute little shirt with, it's like a puffy, puffy sleeve shirt with a kitten with like a cupcake on its head. And I got a really cool, this is so like anime video game, but I loved it. It was um, like a little um, gothic, it's like a white gothic dress and there was another puff sleeve like top. Um, this was $40, <laughs> That's really cute. Um, but it was nice. They gave me a free complimentary pair of red devil horns with purchasing all this. So, yeah. um, also, they have some like older like integrity like toys, like items there, like uh, mm -hmm. color infusion dolls, as well as like little outfits. Yeah, like yeah, Dynamite Girls, they have some like older fashion packs that they didn't sell out of. So we picked up some of them. Um, also in there, um, this is 
probably like a little more information than you need. But these are stands for the Misbehave Style Lab, um, for the Style Lab dolls. But um, they don't come with stands. They don't come with stands themselves, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so you can purchase these. Really cool packaging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So for the welcome meal, um, we did were able to get the centerpiece doll, mm -hmm. and that was Walking on Gold, Adele, Makeda, Makeda, yeah. and she's also one that I think is very cute, uh, very on theme for Lux Life, very like gold. <laughs> I love her little puff. Puffy dress was yeah. giving me card time to Sakura vibes. Mm -hmm. So here she is. Um, she seems to be not quite as popular as the other two centerpiece dolls. Yeah. Um, they've had quite a few of her left over um, until I think she sold out on Saturday, I think. Um, the other two are probably more like iconic characters. Than yeah. Adele. No, Adele's really popular. Is she? Mm -hmm. She has three face molds. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I think she's really cool. Mm -hmm. There's some things about her that I don't really like. I don't really like her top quite as much as her bottom. But, yeah, I agree. Yeah, but she's I, really cool. She also has an issue that was kind of a recurring issue we had at this con, like considering the theme, these dolls don't have enough jewelry. Mm -hmm. And I think literally like the only jewelry she has is like earrings mm -hmm. and she, I don't remember if she has a bracelet, like maybe, but I don't I know. I think she does. <laughs> for this particular doll, I was hoping for a like, belt, necklace, so. Uh, pretty, very pretty. I like, the, love the puffy dress. I like this Adele's face mold as well. But. Yeah. So next up, this is at every meal you get a free doll. This was a giveaway doll, and this one, what's her name? Packaging was different, by the way. So for the free giveaway dolls, um, not all of them, but most of them came in this little sleek, you know, budget quote unquote packaging, mm -hmm. uh, which I believe was the same for Fashion Fairy Tale as well. If they had like a cheaper, slimmer packaging, nicer. Okay, so this is luxuriously gifted Natalia Fatal. Um, yeah, she was the giveaway doll at the welcome dinner. Um, she's K. I like her makeup. <laughs> I do like her makeup. Um, I also think the pink ribbon around her is really cute. I think it's cute that she's like a gift doll and they kind of dressed her up like a gift. I thought that was cute. Um, the suit isn't my favorite, mm -hmm. but I mean, if it's a theme, it's very mm -hmm. 80s. So uh, now we're on to the Poppy Luncheon on Friday, and for the centerpiece, we had a very, very pink doll. So we got this Russian beauty, what's her name? Snowstopper Poppy Parker. Yes. I know, some oh, people- Oh, look how brightly that is. Some people might jump me for this, but this was such like a Barbie moment. <laughs> it was very, very, yeah, but also, yeah, it's like Russian. Um, I feel like this Poppy is probably very polarizing for a lot of people, because I feel like she's like a love it or hate her kind of doll, um, because she's so pink and she's very, very loud. Um, I like this Poppy a lot. I think, I think pink is a very, you know, nice representative color for Poppy. Um, and I love that she's like, again, she's like super wintry, but so have, sultry, like her lips, yeah. her bright lips. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. She also has a really cute outfit um, underneath the coat. Mm -hmm. um, and what's fun fact, by the way, the brooch on her hat, you can actually remove it because there's a magnet and you can put it on her, um, her, her belt. belt yeah. yeah, so you can move the brooch, which is super cute. And some people like her because she's like, her hair is fully rooted and it's kind of long. So, the giveaway doll for the Poppy Parker Luncheon. Um, this one was really cool and what's funny, this one, there was some hype over this one. She was very cool. Um, Lemon Frost, Poppy Parker. Um, she has the African American skin tone and she's super yellow, but she also has some green on her. Um, I like this Poppy. Yeah. They were saying she's a very unique combination. She's an African American skin tone with healed feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I like her a lot. I think, uh, and it's cool because I, I think she, she fits her name very well because you have like the bright yellow for the lemon, but there is also kind of like a frost element because it's so wintry and also there's kind of like a, like a sparkle to her, to the green mm -hmm. jacket. It's, uh, it's really nice. I don't know if we've talked about this yet, but the way they do the certificates of authenticity for these, it's terrible. They just fold it. Ghetto. You have to like, they like fold it and shove it in. Yeah. 
All right, so um, so Friday night ended with the menswear. The I think it was just event. the menswear collection event, event whatever. Um, you know. So the doll, there was supposed to be two dolls for the event. There was supposed to be a centerpiece as well as a giveaway doll. But the centerpiece doll, unfortunately, was delayed, along with like the misbehaved dolls um, in China. So all they had was the giveaway one. So this is the giveaway one. This one is Declan. Undercover Declan Week. And he's part of the Monarch, which is a new um, new men's collection that they revealed mm -hmm. at the con during that event. If you I want to hear. His packaging. Oh, his packaging is cool. Yeah. If you want to hear a more detailed rundown of that event as a whole and our thoughts on it, check out the, yeah. the story time video. But, but yeah. this is super <clears throat> different. Like, it looks like stuff like this. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. Yeah. The packaging is cool, um, Not for that. I don't really like this doll. You know what's funny? I kind of like d normal Declan, I don't know about him, but I do appreciate that he has different hands. He has like yeah. closed like hands. Yeah, so this is Declan, um, not really a fan. Um, I talked about, um, you know, I, I talked about an experience video, um, I'm not really into the new male body mold that they introduced. Um, I think it looks fine in person. It's a little bit better in person. I still think it's it's. His shoulders are fine. His chest looks really weird. It's like they, it's ironically made him so skinny, and yet his chest looks like saggy. <laughs> so, yeah. But I, I yeah, I, I don't know. It's just it's disproportionate, kind of, and slimmer than I was hoping. And I already thought the other body was already slim. But um, I'm also not a huge fan. He. His face mold isn't my favorite. Probably my least favorite doll from the convention. Moving on. <laughs> All right. So on Saturday, which is the last day of the con, we did have an optional W Club luncheon, which we both attended. The centerpiece doll was a very beautiful Lilith. What's her name? Blair. Um, Lilith. Afterglow Lilith Blair. Super gorgeous. This luncheon changed the game. Changed my life, opened my <laughs> eyes. And this Lilith is lovely. Um, I love her outfit. Um, and I really, I'm coming to learn I really like the Eden and Lilith face molds. There's something very like soft and yet striking about them at the same time, which I think is really cool. Um, and this Lilith, I love the skin tone choice. I love the hair. I like the outfit. One thing I will say, I don't know if it's because of like the color of her eyes because they're such like a soft, dull color. She looks cross-eyed a lot <laughs> from no, certain angles. I also think the fact that people don't like, she had really bleach eyebrows. Like it's very hard to see her. Yeah, there, there's certain things about just, I, I don't know, the fact that she has such light eyes and eyebrows. Um, she looks washed out. Maybe she, yeah, 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 the face is maybe. I, I think that's part of why when we show the Eden in, in a second, it's like she's so much more like, striking in the face, mm -hmm. I think, than this one. But she's, I really like this Lilith, and they look great together. This one changed my life, you guys. I thought I'd chosen a con favorite, and I was not expecting, like, to love something from a con so much that was, like, a free doll. <laughs> and the giveaway doll was Public Adoration Eden Blair. Um, and yeah, there was speculation that when, you know, the centerpiece doll was Lilith, that the other one was Eden. 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 Yeah. And it was. Um, I'm obsessed with this doll. I'm obsessed. And she's maybe my favorite doll in the whole con. Um, I love when Integrity has fun with hair colors and they don't very often. I love the pink hair. Um, and it's not purely pink, it's like pink and lavender. It's like a sugar pink and lavender. Mm -hmm. um, and she has like a puffy cream white outfit and I love like the gold accents and the belt and her eyes. She has these like gorgeous striking blue eyes and these like sugar pink, she's everything. I love her so much. So we're on to the final meal, the Jason Wu Gala. Jason Wu Gala. Um, so the centerpiece doll was a Agnes affluent Demeanor, Baroness Agnes von Weiss. 
Christmas. So that's really her full name. They're gonna do that every time. So extra. Yeah, okay. Baroness Agnes Van Weiss. Yeah, we reviewed another Agnes, lingerie Agnes. There's been three journal. this year. It's like she's a very popular big mold. And they say, didn't they say Agnes is always exclusive to um, either the W Club or the, the convention? So, yeah. so unfortunately, Sang won this one. I did not, so I do not have her. If anyone is looking to trade for her <laughs> or sell her at a non heinous price, hit me up. Mm -hmm. But she is gorgeous. She's super gorgeous. I got like Queen of Hearts vibes from her. Um, I feel like a lot louder like than pretty much everything else at the con. I think it's interesting they went with almost kind of like a royalty theme at the final dinner. Um, everything else felt kind Who of... Who else is going to have the Lux like that says royalty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she, yeah, she's literally straight up wearing like a crown and... You don't really yeah. see like a lot of like highlights on like interior toys. Like yeah. she has like these pink highlights in her hair. Saying things they're pink, I feel like they're red. You can let us know what your thoughts are. They're hella pink. <laughs> All right. Um. So to close off the gala, Jason Wu introduced us to a new doll, and it's his favorite muse. It is. This one's called Inspired Grandeur. Elise Jolet. <laughs> so, you know, if Jason Wu is going to show up, he's going to bring her, so... I kind of had to figure that she was, like, the final doll. Mm -hmm. And this one was a free doll, so it was a giveaway. But what's interesting, even though this was a giveaway doll, she didn't come in the standard giveaway packaging. She well, came in, like, people the... knew this is going to be, like, one of those dolls you, like, have nice packaging for, because um, there's a lot of people who are a fan of Elise. I'm not really, but a lot of people are. I think my problem with her face mold is she looks kind of very like sunken in, like a vampire or like a zombie. Yeah, her, I like this Elise, Sang is not a huge fan, but she, um, I think they did something kind of similar like they did with um, Eden and Lilith where the two final, you know, the two dolls are sort of like counterparts, like one is very dark and harsh and the other one is kind of like softer and lighter. Um, I like, I like um, Elise. I definitely prefer Agnes, but mm -hmm. Elise is cute. She's like pink. I really like her, I like her makeup. She, they oh, went, they went, like, <laughs> yeah. they went like pastel with her makeup for this one again, which is fun. And it's just like a round splash of like really bright and like, you know, green, uh, blue. So I did also purchase the entire Misbehave collection from the Style Lab, um, but we do not have it on hand because yeah, like Sang mentioned, um, there were issues, you know, for distribution. Um, I think it was because uh, it was affected by, what was it, the hurricane or whatever mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, so the dolls weren't ready in time, so they were not there at the convention. Um, I should be receiving them sometime in December, so maybe we will post an unboxing haul review. Yeah, let us know if you want to see it. Yeah, like, when we see them, when yeah. we receive them. Um, but that was our haul for Integrity Toys Con uh, 2018. I Lux think Life. collectively, me and him left the con with $29. Six on that. But let us know which one is your favorite if you had attended this convention, if we saw you guys. Thank you for watching our haul from Integrity Toys Con 2018 Lux Life. Be sure to let us know what your favorites were. Um, again, if you would like to see a full unboxing and in-depth review of any of these dolls, let us know in the comments. And if the demand is strong enough, maybe we will do it. Um, uh, also, let us know if you were actually there and hit us up if um, you have anything Max wants. And <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!